there and welcome to Melodrama Online. I hope you're all doing okay on lockdown. I'm on day 11, so if you're only on day two and three, four, whenever it is, and you're struggling, it does get easier, I promise you. If I can cope, anybody can. Um, my regular students, hello, children, teenagers, adults, you all know what I'm like, what a worrier I am. Um, and so if I can get through it, you guys can get through it, no problem. Um, also, please excuse my speech. I've had teeth out and um, and it's really affected how I speak, which is like a bit weird. Um, and I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I can't speak. I'll do a YouTube video and teach people how to act and how to do creative writing. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at now. This um, lesson is week one and it's called Lockdown. And it's suitable for actors of all levels, all right? I've purposefully done this class so that everybody's got a little bit of something, okay? So it's great for professional actors. It's a really good opportunity for professional actors, actually. Um, it's really great for teenagers and also for younger children. If it is a younger child watching, hello, are you okay? Is it really nice being at home? Or are you missing your mates? Oh, well, listen, my little boy is doing really good. He gets up at eight o'clock and he does his schoolwork nonstop till about one in the afternoon and then he's done for the day. Um, so I really recommend that if you're struggling with a full day, just kind of getting it all done first thing. And that works because the internet isn't as busy then either. Yeah, so the class is suitable for everybody. If you're working with a child at home, um, it's a really lovely opportunity for you to... Talk about what's happening at the moment in a safe environment and use drama to sort of um, expel or work through some of those fears that we've all got about these really worrying times. Um, so it's really good sort of almost a little bit of therapy in a way, ongoing therapy as we go through it. And again, for professional actors, this is an opportunity for you to write a character that you can really relate to, that's got bags of emotional baggage that you, um, you know, that can be your story, really. So that when you when you film this and when you upload it, you're giving us a really great, um, just a really great showcase of what you're about, really. If you click in the description on this video, there will be a link that will take you to a little booklet. Um, booklet, it's not a booklet, is it? It's five sheets of paper, but um, I, yeah, I try. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a guide to sort of talk you through everything that I'm gonna talk to you about in the video. Um, it's probably best to sort of click, it's probably best in a minute to press pause and then click download the stuff that you need to download and then come back and watch the video and then go away and do the work and then you've got a week to do the whole thing. So what I'm asking you to do is develop, write, learn, perform and upload a duologue, 90 seconds max, called um, Lockdown. Now a duologue is a scene between two people, so obviously you're gonna need somebody to read in the other part, or if you're two siblings at home stuck together, you can work on it together. Um, it's, like I said, it's a great kind of way to um, work through what we're going at the moment. And if you're an adult working with a child, obviously you'll be helping them write it and learn it and all that sort of thing as well. If you are in isolation on your own, lucky you, um, I'm a recluse. I'm literally fine with this lockdown thing. I'm like, the only thing I miss is teaching really. Um, yeah, like I'm absolutely fine at home. Um, and I wouldn't want to be on my, my, on my own because I've got my son, obviously. But if you are on your own, um, you can still do this exercise, but you're going to do it as a monologue. So a monologue is a speech for one person. A duologue is a speech for two people. OK, so the monologue, you don't need to worry about the other person's lines. You're just going to write a 12 line monologue. So you should have downloaded your sheet and you'll see, number one, the five W's. My regular students will know I'm a bit crazy about the five W's. Who knows what the five W's are? Who are you? 
Where are you? What's happening? Why is it happening? And when is it? Okay, these five W's are so, so important. You know, we, we, we learn about them in key stage one. Yet I'll still have professional actors that come that have been to top drama schools and haven't done your five W's. And it really is that simple. You need to know all this stuff. You know, and the better actors know loads of that stuff. They know exactly who that character is, what makes that character tick, why that character speaks like that, why that character behaves like that, okay? We know we're at lockdown. We know that. It's a scene between two people, lockdown, they're stuck in a house together, okay? So we know that much. But it's up to you, the creative writer, to add all the other stuff in. So I've done an example for you in the pamphlet, all right, the five sheets of paper. I've done an example for you, a really simple one, um, a parent and a child um, just discussing stuff and it gets a bit messy and then they sort it all out. You'll notice on the template, I've, I've done what we call a dramatic arc. The dramatic arc, I've purposefully given you a template for a dramatic arc. So you don't just have to write 90 seconds of dialogue without any information. Hopefully you've decided who you are, where you are, what's happening, why, when. You've got your two characters and you've got a template. What can possibly go wrong? And within this template, I've, I've done a dramatic arc. So basically, a dramatic arc, at the start, we've got what we call sort of, it's like exposition, it's setting the scene. Yeah, so the characters have got one line each, two lines each, where they set the scene. So I've done you an example, I've done child and mum. So the child, for example, is saying, mum, I was thinking I've been really good recently, you know, getting my schoolwork done at home and stuff. So in that one line, immediately, we know that that child is doing their schoolwork at home. So we're like, okay, child's doing the schoolwork at home, okay. And then mum says, what do you want? And then the child says, well, it's just that I'm really bored and staying in all the time. And then that's the next bit. So that's, that's the start, that's the exposition at the start. And then we go into, rising action so it's going up the hill a little bit there's something going on mum says tough we're all in the same boat we've just got to get on with it there's a little bit of a problem all right and that continues that rising action continues till we get to the climax all right that's the big if it's a dramatic scene the big argument if it's a sad scene it's a big moment that's absolutely heartbreaking okay if it's a funny scene it's a big joke that we can't stop laughing at our climax in the scene I've given you is the child going, you know what? I hate you. You never let me do anything. All right. And there's a, three lines where it's a really big argument. And then after the climax, we go into falling action. That awkwardness, you know, when an argument's finished where it's like just awkward and you think, oh my goodness, I'm never going to get over this argument. It's horrendous. Um, well, that's what I think, but then I'm a drama queen. Um, you know, and the, the fall in action, mum in my scene says, look, sweetheart, please, I don't want us falling out. Things are hard enough as they are. Yeah, and we've got three lines there of fall in action. And then finally, the final three lines of the scene are what we call the resolution. It may be in your story that nothing gets resolved. You know, sometimes things don't get resolved, do they? Um, in this one, it is resolved. Child says, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have shouted. I love you, mom. And they decide to go off and make a cake together. And that's the resolution of that scene. All right. So that's what I need you to do. And I've actually done you um, two blank templates because you're going to do it twice. The first time you're going to do it, you're just going to write from the heart. Okay, so if you're working with a child, maybe the child tells you what each character says and then in the second version you improve it. Okay, if you're a professional actor or an adult or a teenager doing this on your own, of course the first draft isn't the final draft. This was big news to me when I first started writing. I was like, what do you mean? I've got to do it again and I've got to cut everything and make it way better. I don't understand. But yes, you gotta do a few drafts to get things perfect. And even then they'll never be perfect, so it's fine. So you've done your final draft, you're happy with how it is. What I'd like you to do, ideally, if you are a professional actor or a teen actor, 
Um, I've also put a template on the back of that document that means you can put it into script form. So rather than working off a sheet of A4 paper in Word where everything's just like boom, 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 you put it into an actual script form. Um, I really advise you doing this just so that you can keep it like that because it looks like a TV script, it makes you look more professional and I just think you should do it. The good thing about putting it into that format as well for those professional actors is that there's plenty of room for you to make notes, all right? So when the other character's speaking, you would hopefully be putting notes in your script about how your character is reacting and how your character is feeling. Once you've got that final script, you've got to start learning it. Now, let's get real, guys. It's literally 60 seconds to 90 seconds of dialogue. That is not a lot to learn, I promise you, okay? I have a lot of parents come to me when it's show term. Well, we do shows every term, actually, at Melodrama, but we haven't this year because it got cancelled. Um, yeah, and they go, oh, in fact, they don't come to me anymore because they know what I'm going to say. Oh, they're really struggling to learn the lines. They're not going to be able to do the show. They can't learn the lines. No, they can't learn the lines because you've only tried once. You've got to try again and again and again. And eventually they go in. All right. That's how learning lines work. Unless you're a genius and you've got um, that part in your brain. I work with um, quite a few autistic actors. They're great. They pick up the script. They know it. The rest of us can't do that. You pick up the script one night. You try and learn it. You think she's off. I've not learned a single thing. I'm absolutely rubbish. I'm terrible. But I'll try again tomorrow. You go back to it tomorrow and you're like, oh, actually... I do know a bit of this script. So you learn some more, you put it down, you go away, you think, I don't know any of that script whatsoever. The next day you come back, you're like, oh my goodness, I know it. You've got to be doing it three or four days in a row, really, to get that part of your brain working. And it's amazing. Once you start learning lines, you literally can't stop. And finally, once you've learned your piece, it's time to perform it. Ta -da! So in your booklet, I'm going to keep calling it a booklet. I don't care. It is a booklet. Um, in your booklet, I've done some really um, straightforward self-tape instructions. So a self-tape for professional actors. You're going to be doing a lot of these because we're, we're, there's already a lot, a lot of castings going on from self-tapes. Okay, I'm lying. Not a lot. The odd one. Um, but my son gets a lot of self-tapes, particularly if a casting director's in America or something like that, or London. And now with the laws around children missing school as well, they don't take kids out of school as much to go for the first audition. Often the first audition is done via self-tape. So I've done instructions for how you do a self-tape. So ideally, what you will now do, the pair of you, so if it's parent and child and you're doing this for fun, if you want to both, if you you want to set the camera up and just film it together like it's a real scene fantastic that would be amazing you know just set the camera up in the corner of the room and just act it out wonderful stuff if you're a professional actor or aspiring to be a professional actor you need to do it as if it's a self-tape okay there's going to be two winners yes it's a competition it's got to be in on friday the third it's a competition there's going to be two winners there's going to be um the professional actor winner which will be um you know the one done by self tape this is a great opportunity for you actors you know you can write a character that you really really relate to you know you can use stuff in that character that has happened to you so you can give a fantastic performance yeah it's a great showcase and it's literally like 60 seconds 90 seconds max um, so one of those will be a winner and shared to both my Twitter and Facebook and also I'm part of Icon Agency, I'm an agent there, so I'll also be championing that actor online and getting an online presence for that piece as well. So it's a great competition for the professional actors and for the families that are just like a bit like doing a bit of drama at home and a drama queens. There's also gonna be a winner there. So that'll just be like, um, you'll set the camera up and it'll be like um, one of these hidden, like a, what's it called? Fly on the wall documentary thing. So we'll watch it and I'll, ideally, I won't know whether I'm watching real life or whether I'm watching the script that you've written. 
and that will be the second winner. And that person's going to win some free acting classes. How about that? So, um, yeah, I think that's everything. I hope this all edits together okay and you've enjoyed it. And um, don't forget to click subscribe. My son told me to say that. Click subscribe. He's going to be so cringy when he finds out I'm on YouTube. He's not going to be very happy. Um, but desperate times, desperate measures. Stay safe. Stay inside. If you go outside, wash your hands. Look after each other. Be patient. And any things that you're worried about, anything that you're scared about, anything that's making you angry, cross, naffed off, put it into a script. I've always been a big believer in using drama as a tool for therapy. It worked for me all those years. I've managed to stay sane because I've had drama in my life. And you know, now more than anything, there's a safe, great way that you can let all those fears out and it's through play and that's all acting is that's what i say to the children all the time it's just pretend and pretend is the most natural thing in the world we do it as children some people do it as adults they carry on um yeah but that's another story we'll do that next time um all the very best and i can't wait to see your pieces thank you